In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the basics of how Revo and its five axis multi sensor system works. Here we have the Revo head itself. This has obviously a cable feed to it through the machine and also an air supply for its air bearings. We have a B axis and an A axis. So the B axis rotates continuously and the A axis rotates from minus 100 to plus 120 degrees. Right now we're showing it with the RSP2 probe, which is the basic probe that everybody would use on a Revo head. We have the stylus holders, which come in a range of lengths. I'm showing here the longest one, which is an RSH500. These fit onto the probe and the probe onto the head using a magnetic kinematic joint. Now one of the things with Revo is that we can maintain accuracy over a range of stylus lengths. This is because we actually shine a laser down this hollow carbon fibre tube and the retro reflector is based at the same place, only about 10 millimetres away from the stylus ball, regardless of stylus holder length. With this infinite positioning capability, Revo can do an incredible amount of measurement with a single stylus. Therefore, the accuracy is maintained across the full range of stylus holders. We collect data by actually measuring the bend at the stylus tip. This is a very light force, similar to a touch trigger type of um, force. So it's around about eight grams. So the bending is minute, but we're able to sample the change in path of the return laser beam at four kilohertz, which gives us a high rate of data collection. So that's basically how Revo and RSP2 collect part data.